What's up, everybody? Oh. <laughs> wow, as soon as I begin, I get a notification that Season the Wiccan is hosting a, um, hosting the... There's the sound! And it did it twice. Uh, am I seriously gonna get this multiple times? I want you for a lifetime. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna actually host the stream. Baby. I don't wanna know. Baby. I don't oh, wanna shut know. up, Morpheus! <laughs> Morpheus, don't you even make a joke of that! Well, I'm asking. <laughs> So yes, this is um this is Mickey Mania on the Sega Genesis. There have been many ports to uh, many other games, but this one in particular I like the most. Um, so to explain what Mickey Mania is, it's um it's well obviously it's a Disney game, but this platformer you play as Mickey Mouse and you go through a lot of the Disney classic cartoons, starting with Steamboat Willie. I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into the game itself. It's a very interesting game. Not the greatest game. Uh, it has a lot of uh, design problems. As you watch along the way, there are going to be some frustration factors. Um, some people say the game is too easy. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Um, not really that easy. I, I even had a hard time getting through the full game. Like, my sister barely managed to make it to the final level, but she ended up losing in the end. Yeah, so here we are. We're in Steamboat Willie! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh -huh. Hi, everybody! <laughs> Sorry, I love doing Mickey's voice. Every, I think everybody does. Hi, I'm Mickey Mouse, and welcome to my Let's Play of Mickey Mania. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I just hit that cat. Shut I have no sympathy for that cat. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is so weird. I've just been looking at recent pictures that they that uh, Japan teased their next Pokemon movie, and it's basically a CG remake of the first movie. Um, but the, but the, the 3D, gra the 3D design and the, and the models, I thought they look like they're made for robot chicken. Oh, so it looks more stop motion. Kinda, but it looks very robot chicken-y. Oh, I'm scared <laughs> I wonder what the twist is. <laughs> you know, I could, ju I could just imagine like fucking you, uh, Mewtwo, um. Like, he's using his psychic powers and he's like melting people's brains because that can happen. <laughs> That's that so. Very dark. It's, it's dark, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, I... War Hero? That is funny. What did he say? Hi. Hi, I'm Mickey Mouse and I own all of you. The world is mine, bitch. By the way, all of you, go see the Disney live action movies. Oh, I'll rip your nuts off. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's the idea! <laughs> Darling, if you want supper, I will go full Pinkie Pie. <laughs> Bring it on! No, 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 I already have suffering from Sensei and Wong. Please, or else I'll leave the call, actually. <laughs> Adobe's thinking that Mickey Mouse voice is a suffering. <laughs> this is worse. You, I, I do not, I, I don't think I grew up with me. <laughs> <laughs> I love what Wolfside says. Pluto, give me my beer. <laughs> okay, that's funny. <laughs> I will actually turn you down. Sorry. I'm sorry. Is my voice too much for you? Is my Mickey Mouse voice too much for you? <laughs> Do I need to get the fire rod? You can't burn Mickey. You can't burn Mickey. I am an invincible bean. Yeah, he, he's basically immortal. You... He's been alive for 90 years. <laughs> he's going to be 100 in a couple. Actually, no. Um, Actually, in about nine years from now. Yeah. He's going to be uh... he's gonna be 100 years old. Yeah. Holy fucking cow. <laughs> I've seen some shit you wouldn't believe. He's not wrong! <laughs> <laughs> he was born in 28. But up with and put and kicked the crap out of Oz with the Lucky Rabbit, Universal were trying to eh. Yeah, there was that whole debacle. I actually do feel sorry for Oswald. Yeah. Me too. I yeah, actually grew up in Cartoon Network and I'm Alright. So here I am in the mad doctor. 
This is that one stage that drove a lot, like, it used to drive me crazy for a number of reasons. Jesse, I'm pretty sure you would probably understand why. Oh, yeah. Because <clears throat> the, the fucking mine, skeletons. Mine was actually the ghosts, actually. Oh, the Lords of Ghosts was just obnoxious. The level design, and then there's just the placement of the, uh, uh the, the, um, the ghost placement. Oh, oh, come on! The blade just Why, barely hit, <sighs> whatever. Uh, for the rec- yeah, you were talking. yeah, I, I was, I'm talking about the game, but, um, the skeletons, you can, like, obviously they're enemies that you have to defeat, you know, you roll, uh, you throw marbles at them and you defeat them, but when they, um, when you kill them, they explode into multiple bones and you can take damage from them, so. Yeah. It's really obnoxious. Whew. You have to be Oof. really careful. Yeah, so you got to have some like mad reflexes when playing these. Um, playing this one. Watching my favorite show, uh, Teen Titans. The, the original, not the go. When there's trouble, you know what to do. Cops, <laughs> I bolo. Um, That's from I, the original. Secret um, agent man. Also, I think I remembered they had a Yu-Gi-Oh! There we go! Shit, like ah, talk about precision. Yeah, I remember. Whoa, holy crap. Don't die, Golden! <laughs> I also like Ben 10. The the, I definitely like the original Whoa, Ben 10 Jesus. And um, I also liked it the, uh, um, the follow-up to Ben 10 when he Ooh. was older. Hit point! Ah. That one was actually really good. There we go. Okay. It's it's uh, kind of important to me that I try to collect as much hit points and lives as possible. Because it's one... Uh, it's one of those games that... Um, you know, if you're if you're too careless, yeah, you're gonna be sent back to the beginning of the game. It's one of those. Also, there's a cool there's a cool little secret here. If you stand at this corner, you hold up, and you can jump all the way up here, and guess what? You can, uh, there's, like, extra stuff here, like, extra hit points and extra lives. Now that probably would not have been been a troll. This is something that nobody else would have known about. <clears throat> really, Morpheus? No, we what? have golden ribs. <laughs> no. <laughs> that is holy so shit. freaking stupid. What are you going holy shit about? I'm just, I'm just looking up the, the research of, uh, that, um, that of the inspiration of the of the Teen Titans theme song was inspired by it, it was inspired by the um, by the song Secret Angel Man by Johnny Rivers. You know that does made, that does not sound surprising at all. Oh God, I love this part of the stage. But a fun fact that that song was made back in '66. Yeah, the uh, Japanese uh, pop band known as Hi Hi. Uh, Hi Yami Yumi. Yeah, Hi <laughs> Yami Yumi. They decided to recreate Good. a that using that try to give a new uh, light to that kind of music, but keeping the classic J-pop things. That's always been the thing with the J-pop. They always give it try to bring back something that's considered classical, but they give it their own flair. Mhm. Mm that's why you gotta love J-pop. Yeah, but every time I listen, yeah, just kind of like a whenever I listen to a, a Quester Girls um. A friendship games theme song. Whoa. I just I keep hearing another brick in the wall in my head. <laughs> you know, um, I don't know which one it is. Um, okay, uh, there's one of the um, friendship game songs that reminds me of uh, what is it called? Uh, Love and Touch and Squeezing by Journey, because of uh, a portion of the song involves the Nas. Oh yeah, it is. Na 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 na. <laughs> one of the. Uh, one of the songs that was made by an anime that I still listen to, and I like both versions, the English and the Japanese one. Um, it's more of a modern um, anime. It's like one of those classic love story kind of animes. Basically, the game, it's one. called um, uh, Orange. Oh no! Are you fucking kidding me? Why didn't you grab the rope? Oh no! Ah, well, that's one life way. Said, oh shit. Yeah, the name of the anime is known as uh, Orin High School Host Club. Yeah. I'm familiar with that anime. I'm familiar with that too, and I liked it too. The uh, first, um, the first song that you hear is their like main, like their intro title song. Shit. 
the Ow. song is so flippin' catchy. You know? Mm -hmm. This song is gonna be... <clears throat> this song will be stuck in your head. I, I think I got that right. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. Lego movie? I haven't seen it yet, but I know of that song. This song's gonna get stuck inside your This song's gonna get stuck inside your This song's gonna get stuck inside your Kiss, kiss, fall in love. I'm, I'm ditched uh, Ow! You got hit by a skull, I just saw. Yeah, like I said, if those L are like when you kill those uh, skeletons, they explode into so many different bones and they scatter everywhere. You just you don't want to get hit. Mm, yes, it was. <laughs> That's what singing. Whoa! Yeah, oh, come on! Singing it. Yeah, I love that song. That was me, season. All right, so where's it gonna? Also, I like other animes like um the. Animation style, I, I, it's meh. It could be, uh, they could have, like, remade it. Whoa! Holy crap. Oh, you should do something for me then. Back shot. <laughs> when do you say they explode into skeleton of. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Hey, no, Shark Do no, you have too much fun with those puns over there? So I just entered a little uh, section here for those who have ever played the game. I'm sure there's some oh, who have. I remember this now? Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, this is a cool little uh, section where um, obviously you can replenish your health, as you can tell here, but you can also find an extra life, so that's cool. Yeah, nice little cheat code. I think it was my sister that figured this one out a long time ago, and I was like, oh. Did she dis Hi. did she discover the uh, the hidden level? Yeah, she did. I. It, we, she was trying something, and she thought she forgot something, and then when she tried going back up, she did, you know, found her... They're, they're, they're making that. skeleton puns. <laughs> <laughs> and they're adding golden puns. <laughs> <laughs> Sharpwit said... Okay, War Hero said, Sharpwit, you are not Sans. <laughs> so what Season said, she, she had a pun. Don't wear yourself down to the bone. Hey! <laughs> God, this would give a uh, freaking Sans and um, a run for his money. Yeah, Sans and Papyrus a run for their money. Oh, uh, Mr. Skull. Yeah! <laughs> He actually was pretty close to sounding like it. <laughs> I, do, I do not. I'm not in the Undertale franchise. I, 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 I forbid fans and papyrus. Oh no! It's the Mad Doctor! That's what Mickey would say in the Sega CD version. Kaboom! Uh, there's gonna be a lot of that with this fucker. Because if you hit him, he has a span of all those chemical uh, jars. They just spread everywhere. It's fucking ridiculous. Here, have another one on my feet. Shove it into your mouth hole. Oh my God. Yes, I know. Okay, Jedi, that is funny. Sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Ow! God damn it! Yeah. Don't hurt yourself. Apparently, that that was too perfectly timed when you think about it. Oh shit! I missed. Oh my god, this is fucking ridiculous. Okay, I need to say this now. No, I missed. There we go. Let's see. I'm trying to remember. Um. Come on, Pluto. <laughs> Hi, Al. 
Yeah, he says that afterwards. <laughs> I remember that part so much. Okay, next time you find another skeleton, I'm just gonna scream out, When are you gonna run out of full apart? God fucking damn it, Birch. <laughs> Look at what Birch said. What did he say? You could he say he was having a chemical reaction. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 